In the metal squadron today, taking a look at the August gold contract on a four week streak right now. Gold is up two consecutive sessions and nine of the last 11. But I think criti more critically or more uh, telling is the four week uptrend that we've been in. Today we're up 54%. Uh, I'm sorry, 54 basis points, not 54%. Let me stress that again 54 basis points on the high today at 1835. The low was only down a quarter of 1% at 182060. And we ended up finishing the day closer to the high than to the low, but only up 28 basis points at about 1830 and change. So again, up nine of the last 11 session, which is helping to continue this four week winning streak that gold has been on. Now there's talk of stagflation in the markets, lower growth and stronger inflation. And that would be bullish for gold. Certainly not here yet, but we're starting to see a little bit of data slowness on the production side, but yet inflation figures still keep coming out stronger and stronger. Philly Fed had increased prices in it, Empire Manufacturing Index and Survey had increased price pressures in it, the PPI yesterday, the UK inflation data, we're gonna get EU inflation data tomorrow, all pointing toward higher inflation, but Jerome Powell still under the guise that the Fed has the tools to deal with it, they're just not ready to deal with it yet. So if we get slower data, and increased inflation, that's gonna continue this conversation of, a, of an economic scenario called stagflation. And stagflation is generally, historically, bullish for gold. So that could have something to do with this tiny little rally that it's been under. And also, it's interesting to note, we had dollar strength again today, and do the dollar's been stronger three of the last four sessions. Yet we still have two consecutive sessions higher and nine of the last 11 higher for gold, despite the dollar strength, that inverse relationship typically, historically, for gold in the US dollar, not really in play right now.